All right, this is the lawnmower I'm working on. I got this from a buddy of mine. You know that Cherokee that I fixed? Uh, he threw this in, gave it to me. It wasn't running. The, the fuel line, this is the factory fuel line that came with it. And it destroyed itself from the gasoline. I cut it off. It just wasn't getting gas. And there was a bunch of trash getting in the uh, fuel bowl. And I cut this, uh, if I can get that open but the inside of the fuel line this is the one that they sold the machine with let's see where is it at I get that on camera it, it's all falling apart on the inside and it, it was clogging you see how it is that's the inside of the fuel line and it was all clogging the whole uh, fuel bowl and just you couldn't get it started and I was like what's going on here so I took the gas tank off and it was clogging up but I'm making this video if you have this motor you might want to change your fuel line but I'm making this video because I'm putting these other kind of wheels on here I got these wheels from Harbor Freight, four bucks. And the reason I got these is because the I had that other lawnmower. These are the factory wheels that came on it, off to this one here. And I had this other lawnmower, and I wanted to put some other wheels on it. I wanted to buy some other wheels, and these were like you know fourteen, fifteen dollars. And I got these from uh, Harbor Freight for four bucks. I thought, well, I'm gonna mount these on there. And I thought, well, I'm gonna put them on this mower and then put these on the mower that I got in the backyard and uh, cause these things break you probably watch videos on YouTube where you know they talk about these mowers the, any lawn mower that has these kind of wheels on it they break the, the one outside in the backyard that I'm talking about it has these kind of type of wheels on it and they after a while they just crack and that's what happened to that one but I got this mower here and uh, Put these little uh, wheels on there, got it bolted on there, looks real nice. And it's at the same level as the, uh, see this is a different style wheel. This is the new updated one for this lawnmower. And this is the uh, uh, Brute by Briggs & Stratton. It's got the Briggs & Stratton 6.75. And uh, <laughs> this is the updated wheel because this one probably broke or they just you know put this wheel on there i don't know if it came like that in the box you know but this is a fairly new lawnmower i mean it was like brand new when i got it it's kind of dirty now but it was like brand new when i got it, it just wouldn't start so and i looked online and this was the updated one because people were complaining about the wheels breaking so this is the newer style but i'm going to take these off and and uh, put these other ones on there and then put these on that lawnmower that I have in the back but you see I have my setting this is where it's at and that's where I cut the yard so that's where it is off the ground there and I thought well I wanted to put these wheels on there but this stud would not fit on that wheel and let me show you that okay this is the part from this side and that's the adjuster that's that adjuster with the yellow thing and if you see this this is where the wheel goes this was in the way and it won't let the uh, wheel go through there it's just too it's too uh, I put it in there sorry for the camera shake you see it's not coming all the way through and it wobbles around it's a 5 8 this is a 5 8 hole and that's a 3 8 shaft there so I thought well <clears throat> that ain't gonna work and and this piece is not gonna come off I thought it would knock out of there and I could put a bolt through there but that's not gonna happen and I don't want to destroy this piece so uh, and here's the bolt for the mounting of this piece that goes in here so I thought well I'm just gonna get one of these because I put this wheel up there and that's exactly where I need it. 
where this where this part mounts is where I need the wheel to be so I thought well it's not gonna have any adjustment you see the adjustment thing is off but uh, that hole right there on that thing is where the wheel is and it's on there real nice and tight and it works so this is what you need to do that I bought a uh, 3 8 and this is three and a half inch long and I got one two three four five six seven nuts and once you mount this in that bracket I just screwed all these nuts and actually there's another uh, I, I used the nut from the other side the wheel that I took off here it's, a, it's almost like a little thinner nut because it gave the right amount of clearance and I'll show you that but I'm just showing you what you need to buy this is the 3 8 lag bolt I think you call it but uh, uh, 3 8 by uh, three and a half and now that'll fit in there fits in there like that so it'll be mounted on this side like that and then you just run your washer and your nut on there and that's what I did here and it's on there nice and tight and it rolls it's not crushing on the bearings or anything you don't want it tight where it's crushing on the bearings you you want the uh, this to be tight here on this washer and on the uh, you know you want it to come down tight on this nut here but you don't want it to be tight on the uh, here, let me show you on this you don't want it to be tight on this bearing here you want it, you know, have a little bit of play. So I got it where it's, you know, it wobbles a little bit, but it's not, you know, super loose. So I'm going to take the other one off and show you what I did. But that's what you got to buy if you want to do this. And it's at the perfect height. I don't know what's how, you know, I, I like my grass kind of, you know, I cut it kind of low. And so I had this on. If you see the setting there. So if you use that setting, it's the second from the bottom there's one two and that's where it's going to be this wheel here and then I'll put 30 pounds of pressure in it so it's got some nice wheels on there it'll look real good so I'm going to show I'm going to take the other side off and then show you the parts that I used and and how it uh, worked out that I uh, made them out of you know use these nuts to take up the gap in there and everything so that's what I'm going to do now Okay, once you get the wheel off, you're going to be left with this. Here's where the wheel mounts. And that thing slips in there like... This all goes together. There's your adjustment. It's like that, and then you adjust it like that. So here's this nut here. This is the one of the nuts that we're going to be using. So we got to get this piece. we got to get this little short one here out which is behind the panel over here so you're gonna have to remove this bolt here this one here and this little one here there's these two right here have bolts behind so you have to get up under behind there to hold them bolts and then we're just gonna pull this out a little bit so we can get some slack in here to get this bolt out this whole piece here is gonna move you're just going to pull it out a little bit and then get this bolt in there where this one here is. So I'm going to take these off, take this off, and take that one off. And then we're going to put this big bolt in there, place the short one. Okay, now we got our big bolt in there by pulling this out. We just kind of, I got one of these bolts in there, but you just kind of grab it and pull on it you see you can get it to move over and uh, just got to watch this thing over here you want it to fall out of this little put that back in and then put your bolts back in get it all lined up and then just button all these bolts back where you got it Okay, got it all tightened back up. I got my, my uh, 
new longer three uh, three and a half inch bolt in here this is a three eighths three and a half inch and what we're going to be using out of this stuff that you took off is this piece right here and you see how it's got that inset and that's going to get rid of uh, this piece sticking out here a little bit so we're going to put this on here that way and then I'm going to run a nut on this 3 8 nut and run this all the way down and then I'm going to tighten that up and then I'm going to get the rest of these nuts and thread them on here so let me do that and I'll cut right back to the video okay I got all these bolts so it's one to tighten it and these are all just finger tight one two three four five three eighths bolts and now the other part that we're going to use from this is this little half looking bolt it's kind of a it's got the stamp on it there it's kind of tight bolt you know one of those tighter and I'm going to put this one on the very end and I'm just going to finger tighten that one but I could do this by the wrench because it's one of those bolts that has a stamp where it's kind of tight so I'm going to snug this one down and then I'm going to come back and show you putting the wheel on there and uh, got to measure it and make sure it's all right and don't want to get it too tight on the bearing so let me thread this one back and I'll come back okay now I got that last little bolt tightened up on here and all these are pretty much loose just finger tighten them and this one has a little bit more slack than the other side uh, the other side uh, these were pretty flush but I got this one adjusted to where this bolt here is coming out of the wheel so now when I put the wheel on you have to sit there and you might have to take it off a couple times see you don't want the washer hitting the bearing where it's where it's crushing on the bearing once this bolt here is tight because if it starts crushing on that bearing the wheels gonna you know make all kind of noise and it's gonna be hard to turn so you just got to keep turning this nut this last little nut out until you know you get a good adjustment so now I turned it out a little bit I'm going to put this last bolt here on and snug it down and see if my bearing is rubbing because you don't want the bearing uh, you don't want to get that bolt tight on the bearing where's my other socket go so I'm just going to snug it down a little bit and it looks like it's free turning and it's snug you know it's got a little bit of slack in it you don't want it tight on the bearing itself because when it starts rubbing on that bearing too much it, it'll start making a clunky clack because the, the, you're crushing on the bearing so you know having a, a little bit of slack is just fine and you can put another lock no, uh, another washer there to lock it down if you want uh, but that's that so there it is and now I got some nice uh, tires with tube on my lawnmower and uh, that's exactly the height that I wanted it it won't be adjustable you know but uh, I never adjusted it anyway and that's exactly what uh, the height that I wanted it and then I'm going to put these other wheels on that other lawnmower. So if you got a lawnmower and you want to do this, I thought I'd make a video. Maybe somebody out there wanted to do this. That's what you need. It was a uh, uh, 3 8 by 3 and a half. One of those lag bolts. And of course a 3 8 washer. And a 3 8 nut. And then, uh, or you can probably use the nut that came off the, the wheel. And then it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And then use that last nut uh, just to get, because the other one, it, it'll be too long. And uh, you'll have too much of a gap. 
you know it'll be slopping or you know back and forth too much so this one's a little bit shorter that's why I use that one so it's uh, one two three four five six and then this bolt that you already have and uh, this is a three eighths three and a half inch bolt and then just put that piece back on there and there you go and now let's put the wheel back in and this is a uh, see this is a 5 8 diameter and or if you you know if you got you know a shop and you cut some tube and make you a, a custom tube uh, you can either do that you know just put a custom spacer tube in there and uh, that would work too but uh, this is all I have for now and that'll work and I just put that nut on there and tighten it down and I'm good to go got my nice balloon tube tires on my lawnmower and that's gonna be a smooth ride and uh, let's see how it rolls Check it on that box there and then just save all these other parts you know you can put the wheels back on there if you ever want to do that just save all them parts but there it is nice matic wheels on the lawnmower they look real nice and that's the same cut height that I had before it's nice and level non adjustable but you know never did that anyway I wanted, I wanted uh, some heavy duty tires because sometimes I get in this rut and uh, over the above curb kind of turns and that thing gets in that rut and that was, that's how I broke the last wheel because that wheel gets in that rut because it's such a thin little you know gap and then trying to move the lawnmower and trying to get it out I busted the damn wheel and so I'm going to put these wheels on that other lawnmower and uh, just use it to mow the back and this is going to be my front uh, mower to mow the front so I guess I'm going to go ahead and wrap this video up here I just wanted to make that and show y'all uh, anybody interested and has this tie in a mower it's the Brute from Briggs and Stratton 22 inch cut there's the engine nice running mower just had to change that fuel line like I showed you to uh, aid it up the fuel aid it up I don't know what kind of cheap fuel line that was but that's why this brand new mower brand new mower and uh, they couldn't get it running so it just sat there forever and that's what it was fuel line <laughs> but uh, that's that looks pretty nice huh <laughs> all right